Hello guys, welcome back to the crew Waltron driving all cars part number 29 the Chevrolet Corvette C2 that's what we are looking at here we are back in headquarters this time because well it is pretty simple this car uh, next to the full stock of course has only one spec being the performance one There are um, four Corvettes in this game, the C2, the C3, the C6 in uh, ZR1 version and the C7 2014 Stingray. No, um, this is the performance one. Official colors, official rims, uh, put a spoiler on it and some, uh, well, spinning things on the wheel there <laughs> which kind of, I don't know standing still it looks a bit strange but when the wheels are turning kind of looks okay now <coughs> I have mentioned already um, I'm not a big fan of the American cars in this game because they don't handle this well and uh, Lots of power handling, not that good. Some of them are not, so not that good in acceleration. A little bit different for this one. This is... Um, in general, I kinda uh, prefer the older American cars above the newer ones, because well, the newer ones are not that good. Give or take uh, one spec here or there. Uh, in the previous video we tested the Camaro 69 which was pretty good in rate. This only has one spec, so yeah, we can only... Um, well, it's a bit of a shame that it only has one spec to be honest, because this is probably my favorite American car in this game. I know uh, some people, uh, if top speed comes into play, uh, some people go for the Saline and all that, that's all good, but... No. Summit, time events, time attacks. Friends of me used the Saline, I used this one. I prefer this one. So it's not always that bad. And I'm not always anti American in this game, but. Definitely not with this one. American qualifiers, classic qualifiers. If this car is amongst the list to use, I will probably go for it. It has, um, as we should see in the mile, it has pretty good uh, acceleration, it has decent top speed, and the handling, uh, well, it oversteers a bit, but uh, if you like that, or if you prefer that, uh, like I do, a thousand times better than understeer situations. <laughs> um, I have driven, what is it, 744 kilometers or something with this thing. So, a c bit of experience with it, uh, I got used to the handling I guess. So, uh, what do we have here, a 22.8 Fastest time, still the Aston Martin Vanquish. Tested about 20-25 uh, already in performance spec. Slowest time, 25.2. Pretty strong Nitro. The result is a 23.2. That's only um, 3 tenths slower than the fastest car here, so pretty obvious. 2 seconds faster than the slowest one. It has a good acceleration. That is something we already established here. Only one test, seeing it only has one spec. Looking for the track.
doesn't really suffer from wheel spin that much maybe first gear sometime but it has a quick response and uh, meaning that uh, you get it straight again after the testing left right left right it's not like it's going to uh, slide like hell uh, again here I, I would break myself in a positive way meaning that wasn't anticipating to be the brakes the, that decent you tap the brakes you throw it into a car and it keeps on going it has the acceleration yep you just need to get used to the handling a bit uh, it can break out or give you some oversteer but not too much it's easy to correct and you can keep going if you spend some uh, miles or kilometers in this thing you're probably uh, gonna like it or at least that's uh, how I kind of found out if you only drive these things for a few miles or a few kilometers yeah, you're not gonna have an idea do you I am also going uh, pretty fast in this section compared to other cars the uh, reason for that is yeah I kinda know uh, how the car reacts little taps bam you can dive in that corner little taps on the brakes will make you do that happen and it's also uh, the feeling again that uh, kinda comes back I mentioned it a few times you have a certain feeling with the car or you don't and have a pretty good feeling with this one jumps kinda smooth it keeps going the nitro is decent and the top speed is not bad either uh, going towards 400 which is uh, sort of the better top speeds on uh, for performance really good in corners as well there are 70 plus performance specs in this game and um, well if it isn't top 5 then it definitely is top 10 one of those cars uh, you don't see them often unless you have to use them in a time attack or something but in pvp or some occasionally you see one come out with this thing but it is not bad put a Pagani la ferrari and all the lot put it in the hands of not so good driver and you have a chance with this one it's as simple as that not saying that better than a Pagani uh, don't get me wrong but all those top cars if it's only a mediocre driver then there are a couple of cars that you have a chance with some of them you just can't keep up so uh, forget about those but some cars are a bit underestimated and this is one of them this one the fair lady is also one of those things which has not that good acceleration though but oh, I really like this car uh, as a matter of fact for me this is probably from all the American cars in this game my favorite I don't like the ZR1, I don't like the C7 uh, I don't have much experience with the C3 because the C2 is uh, spent much time there so we will see in the next video where I, where I will test the C3 but uh, I don't expect it to be better than this so of the Corvettes definitely the best one in my opinion and uh, overall the Stalin is good as well uh, for American cars, but I don't like the handling in that thing. So, uh, no. Favorite car, American one. That is this one for me. And it is pretty good. It's not the top of the build, but it's coming close. I will see you guys in the next one, and bye for now.